Shalom Israel. First, gonna all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. All praise is due. Man, Spirit hit me this morning, man. Spirit hit me this morning, man. I'm gonna reveal something to y'all that most high revealed to me this morning, bro. Man, I'm speechless, man. This is a Hebrew book, man. That's all I'm gonna tell you, bro. This book is a Hebrew book. And what the most high showed me today, y'all you're gonna see, bro. It's it's proven. It's proven, bro. I ain't gonna waste no time, man. So the word holy Bible, the word holy means separate. The word Bible means book. So this is a separate book for who? All through this book, if you watch my videos and if you watch other people's videos, but you know that this book is only for Israel, bro. It only talks about Israel all through the beginning, Genesis through Revelation, bro. Always through talking about Israel. Israel, Israel, Israel. So this is a separate book for the Israelites, as you know. But what do we also know now? We the Hebrews, right? We the Jews. The true Jews. We the Hebrews, right? So, go to Exodus 3 and 18 for me. I'm going to just give you a few precepts to show you that, you know, the Lord is God of the Hebrews. God of the Israelites. Uh, Exodus 3 and 18. And they shall hearken to thy voice, and thou shalt come, and so like, and thou shalt come, thou and thy elders of Israel, and the king of Egypt, and you shall say unto them, the Lord God of the Hebrews have met with us. What does it say? The Lord God of Hebrews, God of the Hebrews, not everybody. The Lord God of the Hebrews had met with us and not let us. And now let us go where beseech thee three days journey into the wilderness that they may sacrifice to the Lord our power. Um, Exodus five and three. And they say it. The Lord, the God of the Hebrews have met with us. Let us go. We pray thee three days journey to the desert and sacrifice unto the Lord our power lest he fall upon us with pestilence or with the sword. Exodus 7 and 16. 7 and 16. And thou shalt say unto him, The Lord God of the Hebrews hath sent me, saying, Let my people go, that they may serve me in the wilderness. And behold, hitherto thou wouldest not hear. This is Moses talking to Pharaoh, bro. He's saying, Let my people go. Who told him to let his people go? The Lord God of the Hebrews said so. Right? Exodus 9 and 1. What does it say? What did Moses say to Pharaoh once again? You know, he, he said this every day. Moses kept coming back because these plays was going across. Most I say, he ain't listen. All right, frogs. He ain't listen. Okay, locusts. He ain't listen. Okay, death. That's literally what he's doing. He ain't listen. Okay, make the whole sea blood. He It was going back to back to back to back. So let's see what uh, Exodus 9 and 1 says. Then the Lord said unto Moses, What is he? Go into Pharaoh. Go unto Pharaoh and tell him, Thus saith the Lord God of the Hebrews, Let my people go, that they may serve me. Uh, Exodus 9 and 13, go over a few verses. And the Lord said unto Moses, Rise up early in the morning and stand before Pharaoh and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord God of the Hebrews, Let my people go, that they may serve me. He kept on saying it, bro. Go to Acts, is that 21 and 4? I think I got right here. Acts 21 and 4. I believe it's 21 and 4. I'm going to make sure. Acts 21. Oh, wait. I'm sleeping. Oh, that's definitely not 21. Um... Let me see. Oh, it's a lot. Uh, Acts 21 and 40. 21 and 40. Let me mark that down. It's 40. 21 and 40. This is Paul speaking. Look what happens. And when he had given him a license, Paul stood on the stairs and beckoned with the hand unto the people. And when there was made, and there was made a great silence, what did Paul say? He spake unto them in the Hebrew tongue. So Paul spoke Hebrew. Paul was a Hebrew. So the Lord is God of the Hebrews. What are, um, Paul, the apostle, was a Hebrew. Let's go to Acts 26 and 14. Acts 26 and 14. 
And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking to me and saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the prick. Verse 15. And I said, look what Saul said. He said, who art thou, Lord? You know, who is speaking to me? What did the person say? And he said, I am Yahweh, whom thou persecutest. So Yahweh speaks in the Hebrew tongue. Because I showed y'all a long time ago that, uh, that Yahweh was a Hebrew, wasn't he? But, of course, y'all need precepts for everything. Hebrews chapter 7. Hebrews 7 and 14. For it is evident that our Lord, Yahweh Shai, sprang out of Judah, of which the tribe of Moses spake nothing concerning the priesthood. Judah is one of the 12 tribes of Israel. So, that means Yahweh Shai was a Jew. He was a Hebrew, wasn't he? Yes. He was a Hebrew. I mean, let me get another precept for y'all, man. Let me find it real quick. Don't know exactly where it's at. I'm going to find it for y'all. Toe right here. Matthew 27 and 37. Actually, 30, 25, uh, 35 is a lot. Uh, Matthew 27 and 35. We're going to start there. Look what they're doing to the house shot, bro. This one they was crucifying, bro. Matter of fact, we're going we to go to 30, sorry, 34, bro. Show you how dirty they did our master, bro. Look what they did to the Messiah, bro. 34, uh, Matthew 27, 34. They gave him vinegar to drink, mingled with gall, and when he and when he had tasted thereof, he would not drink. And they crucified him and parted his garments, casting lots, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, that they, they parted my garment among them, and upon my vesture did they cast lots. Uh, Yahweh was prophesying in Psalms. That's Psalms 22 and 18. You can check that precept for yourself. Most high, uh, Yahweh was prophesying in Psalms. You know what? Y'all lucky today I got time, bro. Today I got time. So, y'all, of course, like I said, y'all need precept of everything, bro. <laughs> Let's go to Psalms 22 and 18. So, we just said that they parted Yahweh garments, bro. They parted his garments, meaning they, they ripped his clothes off, bro, and they casted it around, bro. Throwing his clothes around, bro. Psalms 22. Um, look at Psalms 22 and 18. It says, They parted my garments among them and cast lots upon my vesture. Look what that says, bro. Look what that says. Oh, we're going to keep going. Read 19. But be not thou far from me, O Lord. O my strength has thee to help me. This is your house. I asking for help, bro. Look what's happening. Verse 20. Deliver my soul from the sword, my darling, from the power of the dog. Bro, he's trying to get saved, bro. Look what he says. Keep going. Save me from the lion's mouth, for thou hast heard me from the horn from the horns of the unicorns. Bro, he's trying, he's praying to the most high, you know, to get you know to get some um some help. You know, he thought he was. You know, he felt forsaken when he was on that cross, bro, because he really, he knew what he had to do. Yahweh I knew he had to die for all of our sins, for Israel's sins, bro. And, you know, even going, you know, it's it's easier said than done. You know, once you get there, you know, of course, Yahweh he was standing strong, you know, until he got there. You know, once he on that cross, bro, it, it really hit him. It really hit home. I'm like, bro, this, this is really it. This is, this is tough. Could you imagine doing that, man? Can't even fathom. So we're going to go to, um... Uh, Matthew, back to Matthew 25, Salat, 27 and 35. And they crucified him and parted his garments, casting lots, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken, which was spoken by the prophet. They parted my garments among them, and upon the vestures they cast lots. I just showed you that in Psalms 22 and 18. Verse 36. And sitting down, they watched him there, and set upon over his head his accusation written, This is the this is Yahweh Shai, the king of the Jews. So, he's king of the Jews, right? The Jews were the Hebrews. Um, what else did y'all need, bro? Um, 2 Corinthians chapter 11. 2 Corinthians chapter 11. Verse 22. Look what Paul said, bro. And we're going to start at 21 and get a little background. This is Paul talking. You already know that, man. This is Paul. Look what he said. Verse 21. I spake as concerning reproach, as though we had been weak. How be it, wherein soever any is bold, I speak foolishly, I am bold also. Verse 22. Here's the meat. Are they Hebrews? So am I. 
Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. This is Paul speaking. He said, are they Hebrews? So am I. So Paul's a Hebrew. If you're a Hebrew, you're Israelite, bro. So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Paul is telling everybody who he is, bro. I mean, we already knew this, bro. This ain't nothing new. We've been through this. I'm just giving y'all proof. Paul said he's a Hebrew. So the Lord God is a Hebrew, is God of the Hebrews. Yahawashai spoke Hebrew, was from the Hebrew. I showed you he was from the tribe of Judah. Um, he spoke Hebrew when he spoke to uh, Saul. Um, I just showed you two precepts that showed you how Paul was Hebrew. And let's go to um, let's go to somebody. Let's go to Jonah. Book of Jonah, bro. Book of Jonah. Jonah chapter one. Jonah chapter one, verse nine. This is Jonah talking to the um, to the um, the fishers, man. The the I think they're called the what does it say here? The mariners. No, marine in the water. So fishers, kind of yeah. So uh, Jonah chapter nine. Uh, it's a lot. One verse nine, bro. Look what he said. And he said unto them, I am a Hebrew, and I fear the Lord. So let me go back. And he said unto them, I am a Hebrew, and I fear the Lord, the power of heaven, which hath made the sea and the dry land. It's plain sight right there, bro. Doesn't get no sweeter than that, man. Now, had to get those pieces out the way, bro. The meat of the video. This is the main reason why I'm making this video. Go to Psalms 119, bro. This is what the most high revealed to me this morning, man. Go to Psalms 119, man. I'm telling you, bro, this is a Hebrew book. Now, Psalms 119. Uh, I'm going to have to flip the camera a weird way. So, Psalms 119. Y'all there? Y'all there? Yes, no, maybe so. All right. So, if you notice in Psalm 119... And on the top of every uh, every other verse, the first one says, I left, bet, get mail. You see those names, bro? There's 22 of those throughout Psalms 119, bro. And it just so happens that there's 22 letters in the Paleo-Hebrew alphabet. Every one of those names that are on there is exactly how you pronounce every letter in the Hebrew alphabet, bro. Do you understand that, bro? The first one is I left. I'm going to show you this, bro. If you see here, I'm not sure how to show it, bro. I'm going to just have to... Hold on, y'all. Let me let me take out my notes so I can show it to y'all while I'm holding it. It's going to be backwards for y'all, probably. But look at that first one, bro. Look right here. Damn, it's backwards. You know what? Damn, bro. You know what? I'm going to make a part two just like I had a camera flipped, okay? I'm going to have a camera flipped. I'm not going to show my face, but I got to share us to this, bro. Stay on Psalms 119. I'm coming right back, bro.